What's up, everyone? So MITRE released their 2020 evaluation that included the Carbonac and Fin7 uh, scenarios. And I wanted to take all the data from all the participants and bring it all together so I can kind of analyze the data. I figure other organizations might fill their use for something like this. So I am sharing it with you guys and I'm going to show you how to do it. And, you know, that way you can analyze a report. Now, I'm just going to try to be as transparent as I can uh, and try to give you as much data. And then you just have to just look at the report yourself and just, you know, validate the uh, detections and just um, investigate the report. If you have any ideas or thoughts, please let me know and I can update it. Okay. All right. So this is what the report will look like. It starts off as this and you're going to get an overview. Um, you can actually click on these links here where you can get information about the adversary emulation of what they did to emulate. That includes one for Fin7 as well. You all, I, will also, I also have a list and this gives you the detections, the scores it had, and this is the telemetry coverage. So literally, if you were to go into any evaluation um, and click on it, okay, you can get the JSON yourself, right? You get that JSON and it looks something like this, right? It'll look all jumbled together. So, you know, I, I just put it in JSON formatter, like just some JSON formatting tool, and that allows me to kind of navigate the JSON. The important fields are gonna be these evaluation results. These are the fields I'm getting that's populating in here, okay? Right, and, then, and, then, and I do that for every single vendor. So I've already kind of did that work for you so you can evaluate it, okay? If you want to search here, just type in uh, whatever participant, and then you can just easily get the list, okay? You can also click on the drop down here, which uh, allows you to kind of investigate. Total detection results is just going to be this. And, you know, some another view with the separation of telemetry and analytics detection, okay? Now, there are other tabs. If you pick a vendor here and you pick the evaluation, you can see how the missed detections, okay? And then you can scroll through here and see a summary of those missed detections. Make note that not all vendors participated in the protections evaluation. So if they didn't participate, I'll kind of show you here, okay? So if I go to evaluation overview, you can kind of see the vendors that did not participate, okay? You can filter when you select this, then that allows everything to filter here. So again, that's the missed detections by step. So the total missed detections, uh, I categorized it by tactic. You can pop these scenarios as well. You can also, here are the missed detections during the scenarios. Okay. Here is going to be the protection test results. The protection test result is just kind of, um, how did they do during the test? So, you know, green is good, right? You can click on these links where the test groups and I'll take you in it. It'll take you directly to the results for that particular vendor. The T numbers are going to take you here and the techniques are going to take you there. Okay. I also made like a little comparison tool. So like a side by side, side by side comparison between vendors. So just pick, you know, whatever vendor you pick here and then pick another vendor here and you can compare the results. Okay. It's going to be the same screen you see um, in the previous screen. Okay. Like, for example, one vendor might have not participated and another vendor participated, right? All right, so now that you know about the workbook, let me show you how to actually get it, okay? So you're going to need either Azure Sentinel or Log Analytics or Azure Security Center, but either way, you're going to need a workbook area to actually import it into. And then you're actually going to use my data set. So you don't actually have to import the JSON or anything. You'll just use my data set. So you just paste it and it should work. Okay. I tested it a few times, but let me know if it doesn't work. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. All right. So you're going to go into my GitHub repo under teaching workbooks, uh, under security MITRE evaluations. There's one called a MITRE eval workbook. Just go to JSON and then click on raw, copy this raw data, and then just go into Azure Sentinel, go to workbooks. Click add workbook and literally just click edit, click on this little icon right here. Okay. Advanced editor, delete this and paste my stuff. Okay. Apply. And that's going to give you the workbook. Okay. And, and it populates the data. Does that make sense? What else can we go? We could do Azure security center. 
So type in security center in the search bar on the top, go to workbooks, go to new, again, advanced editor, delete this stuff, paste my stuff, apply. And it works here too. Okay. You can also go to log analytics. So if you don't have Azure Security Center, find the log analytics workspace, right? Scroll down to the general and then the second one, workbooks. And then you're going to go to new advanced editor, paste my stuff, apply. Okay. So three different ways to get access to that workbook. Again, the um, that data set is publicly accessible, so you can just mine that data, okay? So yeah, just copy the code and it should work. Otherwise, in the description, there might be an easy button. I'm gonna have an ARM template deployment tool. Uh, maybe that might make things more easier for you. Let me know how it goes. Uh, if you have any feedback or make you know ways to make it better, let me know. If you can make it better, share with me, uh, make a pull request and, you know, I'll, I'll modify those changes, but yeah, let me know how you like it. Uh, have a good weekend and stay safe. Have a good one guys.